Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned veteran, and whether you're in the paleo, keto, low carb, carnivore, whatever you want to call it, camp, there's one simple thing that you should never, ever, ever forget. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a low carb chat channel zone, whatever we're in. I just, I think it's extremely important because in today's uh, day and age, there's so many different uh, diet camps out there. You know, you got your low carb people, which, you know, generally cover everything. You got your keto, you know, they, they have one way of eating. And then the paleo, paleo is very restrictive. They have, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you can't eat this. And then there's the carnivore people that say you can only eat this. Put all that to the side for a minute. The number one thing that you should follow, and if you do, you're gonna find success, is never eat sugar, okay? Ne that's cardinal sin number one. That's 80% of your health. I'm guessing here, I'm just picking a random number, but 80% sounds good. 80% is restricting as much as possible sugar and carbs. And for the purpose of this video, Carbs and sugar are synonymous. Yes, there's different kinds of carbs. Some are digested differently. Don't worry about that. Just don't eat carbs, period. And the eating only meat, for instance, is going to do a lot of favors for you. That number one rule is pointless if you eat, if you don't eat enough fat or if you eat too much protein. For instance, fat is very satiating. That's why I like getting 73% ground beef and it's just, uh, you eat a little bit of it. You don't even have to, you just eat until you're full. You don't shovel food in your mouth. Your body works differently when you don't eat blood raising sugar. Blood sugar raising sugar and carbs. And the same goes with protein. And, and unless you are a one of these performance athletes where you, your muscle is absolutely important and you need to build fast, too much protein, this is how we understand, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I'm wrong. Too much protein at the end of the day gets converted into glucose or sugar and turns into fat. So if you, if you eat nothing but lean chicken breasts all day long and not enough fat, you're not really eating carbs, but at the end of the day, you will gain weight. Too much protein is not good. Stop with the protein shakes. I see all these overweight people, really overweight. They're getting these protein shakes and it basically just kills their entire effort and they stay unhealthy and obese for a long time. Um, so if you just avoid sugar, eat high fat, and that's the, you know, that's, that's the one diet, high fat, low carb, moderate protein. And I would even say low protein for people that uh, aren't uh, in the fitness or doing any kind of working out whatsoever. Um, and that's what we, we plan on doing. I'm gonna do another video on this in the, in the future uh, about how I'm gonna wait until I meet my weight goals uh, entirely through diet. And once I'm at, you know, whatever 185 or whatever weight I'm looking to get down to, then I will begin focusing, you know, once I've mastered the diet, entirely and I can see the the fluctuations and the, the results of my efforts or changes that I make um, then we go to the gym and, and focus on that we, we've, we've cracked the code on the diet but my point of this is and there's another point that if you focus on the, the basics get the basics handled and that again is low sugar very low sugar or no sugar at all don't ever add sweetener that's another story for another day uh, don't even put sweets in your mouth because sweets do something to your body's chemistry and your mental ability. Don't even eat anything sweet. Um, even blueberries taste sweet to me. But a lot of people focus on the minutia, the small stuff, whether they're getting organic beef or pesticides or sulfites. You can handle that stuff later on, but that doesn't even represent 5% of your problem. People get hung up on these emotional details. They're very restrictive. Don't do this, don't do that. They're nitpicking. If you don't eat, in other words, don't raise your blood sugar. Don't do it. Do not raise your blood sugar because that's where all the problems happen with leptin and, and insulin and the cravings. Your, your body becomes like almost um, like, a, like a monster. Like if you, I remember like 
many years ago when I, I had some sort of bad moment and I, I, I became weak and I ate like a, a white uh, flour based uh, Italian hoagie on one of those nice rolls and God, it, it was, I remember the, the sensation, it was, it was delicious, but I felt like crap for two to three days afterward and it screwed everything up. I was, it probably set me back two weeks overall. So don't, don't raise your blood sugar, there's no reason. The small stuff you can become a nitpicker and an anal retentive, obsessive, compulsive person once you, you, you've, you've gotten comfortable with just not raising your blood sugar. It's that simple and that applies to every single diet or not even diet, but you, if, you, if you intend to lose body fat, weight loss, we don't wanna lose bone and, and bone density and, and, and muscle mass, but if you wanna lose uh, body fat, um, just don't eat sugar and don't raise raise your blood sugar level um, and then you've gotten it you got it all covered the rest of it doesn't really matter we don't really care about whether it's organic or not the taste matters to us a lot of times um, I can tell the difference between some plain old beef you know even though it's it's good for me and it satiates me and a Pat Lafrida hamburger for instance it's delicious it's 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 a treat um, but again, eating is, is, is not entertainment. It shouldn't be entertainment. It became entertainment in our, in our, in our country and in our world uh, just not very long ago. Eating used to just be uh, like a fundamental uh, basic need. You got it over with. Now it's all about fancy tablecloths and, and presentation and pairings and all this other BS and Instagram photos of your food. If I did an Instagram channel on my food, it would be one picture every day, the same picture every day, meat. Or maybe I would have three pictures, meat, uh, eggs, and cheese, and dairy. Um, so that's it. Just don't worry about, don't sweat the small stuff, and just don't put the sugar, don't raise your blood sugar on purpose. And, and get rid of those salads, they're, they're inflammatory. Once you kick the salads out, I mean, I could talk forever about this, about how you can get almost all your nutrition from red meat alone. Um, and then you don't think about food, you, you focus on more important things. So that's it, I rambled here, but uh, don't sweat the small stuff, okay? Just keep your blood sugar stable and low at all times and you will be A-OK. -okay. Have a nice week.